Let's take the file My Bedroom with Resources and you'll see it's our My Bedroom project with the resources assigned. Now these resources are the same ones that we've entered in the material, work and cost lessons with one addition, which is me. Everybody forgets to cost themselves into projects that they're part of. So that's the same as costing in the project manager for projects. Now, although I'm not going to pay myself $30 an hour, that would be nice. That effectively is the fee I could earn if I was doing something else. So it needs to be costed in to this project. Because if I wasn't doing it, someone else would have to do it and we would need to pay them $30 per hour. So if you don't cost yourself into projects that you're involved in, you effectively are hiding some of the real costs of that project. Having taken that into account, this file now has a resource sheet with the resources in it. It also has the tasks. If we look back at the Gantt chart, there's our tasks and they're all linked up and working and ready to go and to have their resources added. Now we can add the resources in a number of ways. Method number one, if you widen the left hand column, you'll see you've got another column in here called resource names. And if we click into that drop down, you'll see it lists all of our resources in alphabetical order, regardless of their type. So we can see bed, but we can also see decorator, we can see glue. So the first three are examples of three different cost types. So moving out the old furniture is going to involve me and nobody else. So I select me in the list and then click into any other column. And I then get assigned as the resource for moving out old furniture. And I appear in the Gantt chart with my initials. Pull up the old carpet drop down. Let's get the decorator involved and me. Again, I click away. Both resources are then added which is the decorator, comma me, and we can see decorator, comma me, assigned in the Gantt chart. So that's the first method. We simply use the resource name column, click in, it gives us a drop down to choose from, and we choose the appropriate resources, be they material, work, or cost types. Now the only issue really of using this method is there is no option in any of that drop down, if I have a look, for assigning units. So I can't say how much of the decorator, how much of me, or how many nails, how much paint, how much plaster. So there's no option there for assigning that units and it assumes one of everything. Now some of the time that's fine, other times it's not enough for us to do. So we need another way of assigning resources. So if we look at take down the curtains, we can activate from here, the Assign Resources dialog box. So that actually opens a separate window. And I can get to that either by right clicking and choose Assign Resources. And you'll see that brings up the floaty box. Or I can change the ribbon to Resource and choose Assign Resources from here. And that also brings up the same dialog box. Now, in here, we can see all of our resources. Again, alphabetical order. I can see R slash D, which is request or demand. I can see units, so I can actually enter the number of units. And then the cost will actually calculate itself for material and for work types. But for the cost type, I would need to put my own in. So looking at take down the curtains, I need one of me. The decorator is going to help but I only need 0.5 of them. So one me, one decorator. And no other resources. So I can click close or I can move the dialog box over. And click into other tasks. So let's close this box. Let's move down to a task that requires some materials. Paint the accent wall, for example. To assign resources, that's going to need someone to actually do the painting. Guess who that is? Yep, one of me. Notice as well that when you choose someone, they jump to the top. Now it's calculated that one of me will be $150 to paint the accent wall. So that's five hours at $30 per hour. So we can see that the calculations work. 
and then the paint we're going to need one gallon or two half a gallon half a gallon of paint and again that calculates to be one dollar seventy five very cheap i'm going to need a paintbrush probably two You can see the little scrolly wheel goes up by half a unit at a time. And again, the paintbrushes jump to the top. So two paintbrushes are going to cost me $5.98. That's more than the paint. I think that paint's very cheap. And then that's appropriate for that particular task. So I close. I can see in the resource names that they've been added. Now that resource names is getting quite long. So I would have to widen. And in the Gantt chart, I can see all the resources are again listed after the task name. So me, half a gallon of paint, two units of paintbrush, so two paintbrushes. So you can see the assignment of the resources is fairly straightforward, either from the little drop down here or from the assign resources dialog box on your right click, assign resources. A third method doesn't stop you know let's choose a different task here let's have plaster the walls and the third way that we're going to use to assign the resources is to go back into the task information so that's double click and we have resources as a separate tab within here now in here i can see the resource names are listed again alphabetically so for plaster the walls i need some plaster more than one packet I'm going to need at least four packets. The decorator is going to do the plastering. And let's use two decorators. The assignment owner is driven by effectively project service. Your project would need to be attached to project server in order to pick up the assignment owner for this particular project. So on our PC based project, these are empty and non enterable fields. So we've chosen four packets of plaster, two units of the decorators, so that's two decorators to carry out this task. OK. And they are then assigned, and you can see them across there four packets of plaster and two decorators. If you go back in, the costs have then been calculated. So $8 for the plaster, but $960 for the decorator. So you have the three options for assigning resources to tasks. The resource names column with the drop down, the assign resources floating dialog box, or the task information dialog box. All three of them have their own merits, and we're going to look at a couple of problems of using one of the methods very shortly.